Yeah, that's what you play for, right? So just big, big game, big stage. 2007, that was the last time ESPN's game day visited Lincoln. The national spotlight now shining on Nebraska is something the Huskers better get used to. Uh, you know, our guys need to be need to learn how to be comfortable in those situations. Uh, this is special. Speaking of special, Ohio State will lean on running back J.K. Dobbins. Scored three touchdowns against the Blackshirts last year in Columbus. He ranks fifth in the country with 477 yards and five touchdowns through four games. He's real strong, fast. I think he's very versatile in what he does. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. You know, he can run, he can pass, he can do it all. Buckeyes quarterback Justin Fields has more than 1,000 yards of total offense so far. 880 passing, 150 rushing. And he's accounted for 19 touchdowns in four games, and he's yet to throw an interception. Fields can make you earn it in the pass game and the run game, so you always have to account for him on every play. Nebraska has a guy like that, and Adrian Martinez. And Ohio State knows all about him since the sophomore QB took a recruiting visit to Columbus but ultimately chose to play for Nebraska. However, he left a lasting impression on Ryan Day. I think when you combine that together of you know, the ability to run and throw along with his, his intelligence and, and uh, you know, game management, you know, he is by far the best quarterback we've seen. Martinez, though, knows they have to clean up their turnovers. Nebraska's minus one in turnover margin after coughing it up four times in Champaign Saturday night. The Buckeyes margin is plus six. Turnovers. That was an issue uh, this past Saturday, and, and um, we realized we, we have to get it fixed if we're going to become a, a good football team. And circle number two for the Buckeyes, he's Chase Young, projected as one of the top picks in next April's NFL draft. He leads Ohio State with seven sacks already this season. He's a creature out there. He, he physically just looks as imposing as any a player that I've seen on tape in a long time. The Huskers are 17 and a half point underdogs against the fifth ranked Buckeyes. Scott Frost says that's fine. His team has nothing to lose. I don't think a lot of people are going to pick us to win, rightfully so, because they got one of the best teams I think in the country right now. Uh, they're playing really well at a high level. So uh, there's no reason for us to be nervous or uptight. Uh, we just got to go take our swings. Yeah, let her rip. Big Red Zone game day coverage starts Saturday, 8.30 in the morning on KETV. Facebook Live starts at 4. It leads up to kickoff, 6.30. It's on KETV. And, of course, we'll have live postgame coverage from Memorial Stadium after the game.